Hi, in this series of videos, we're going to be looking at repeated percentage change. They are a little bit challenging. You do need to take the time to stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, compare your solutions. If you're not sure about anything, please always add a comment below. I'll always come back to you and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, this is the second video in the playlist where we've been looking at repeated percentage change. Uh, we completed in the previous video through to question number three. So we're going to start here from question number four onwards. Please do stop the video, have a go at the question, compare your solutions. OK, so these types of questions you will need a calculator for. They do take a little bit of working through, but hopefully you'll be able to follow each of these. So it says a population of a small town increases by X percent each year. The population is expected to increase by 36 percent in the next eight years. Well, basically what that means is, is that the um, if you look at the previous formula, the multiplier, which in this case we're going to call X. OK, remember, X is the percentage OK, that we're looking for to the value of eight years is going to be equal to a 36 percent increase. Well, that means then we've got to convert that to a decimal. So that's going to be one point three six. And then really, it's a case of finding the value of X. So let me just write that out a little bit clearer. I've got X to the eight equals one point three six. So therefore, if I want the value of X, I'm going to do the eighth root of 1.36. OK, now, if you're not sure about how to do that, I'll just bring my calculator in and it's actually going to be this key here. OK, now in my calculator, I access that by using the shift button and then pressing this one and I get that one. But it allows me to work out the eighth root and the eighth root for this is going to be 1.0 3918. OK, now remember that that is the same as saying 103.918%. Uh, so 103.918%. OK, so to one decimal place, the increase is going to be that X equals 3.9% uh, per year. OK, now remember, this is 103 because it's a compounding rate. So therefore, we start with 100 percent, but the actual value of X is going to be 3.9 percent. OK, let's have a look at question number five. Question number five, a workman's van is decreasing by X percent in value each year. OK, after five years, the van will be worth 50 percent of the price. Work out the value of X. OK, well, I'm actually going to use the kind of same thing as I have done before, where I'm going to say that the total is equal to the original times the multiplier to the value of N. OK, so if it's decreased by um, X percent and after five years, it's worth 50 percent of the price. Let's say, for instance, that after five years, it's worth 500 pounds, 500 pounds. And the original was 1000 pounds. So this particular workman, I'm sure vans are a lot more expensive than 1000 pounds. But um, this, let's say, just for the sake of argument, he bought it for £1,000 and after five years, it was worth 500 So therefore, we've got a multiplier, which is what we're trying to work out to the value of five. And then as we've done before, it's really just a case of isolating the value of the multiplier. So I'm going to divide both sides through by 1,000, 500 divided by 1,000. That equals the multiplier to the fifth root. OK, I don't want the fifth root. I actually want the root uh, of the value itself. So that's five and that's going to equal the multiplier. So if I pop that into a calculator, what I actually get is going to be 0 0.87055. OK, so in other words, what we're saying is, is that the value each year is 87 percent of the value of the previous year. Now, if you like, I start with one and therefore it's now 
87%. Okay, so that's going to give me a reduction of 0 0.129449, which is the decimal equivalent of a reduction of 12.9% per year. Okay. Hopefully that's okay for you. It's not unlike, I think, one of the previous questions in the previous video. So um, it shouldn't be too bad, but it just is really more about manipulating this particular formula and becoming familiar with how the formula works. Okay, let's move on then to question number six. Okay, on to question number six, which is a little bit more challenging. And again, as I mentioned before, you will need a calculator for some of these. Although actually this particular one you could do without a calculator. So please do stop the video, have a go at the question. And what we said, the radius of a circle increases by 30%. Find the increase in the circle's area. Okay, so let's have a look at the formula for the area of a circle. So area of a circle is going to be equal to pi r squared. Well, let's just for a minute assume that the radius is going to be 1. So if the radius is 1, I've basically got pi times 1 times 1. OK, well, let's have a look then at the new circle. So the new circle has an increase in radius of 30 percent. OK, so the area now is going to be equal to pi. But this time, rather than a radius of one, we've got a radius of 1.3 times the original radius, okay? So whatever the original radius was in this particular first one, it was one, but it could have been six or eight, or it doesn't really matter. So 1.3 times the original radius is 30% bigger, and I'm gonna square that, okay? So when I work that out, what I end up with is area is gonna equal to 1.3 squared is gonna be 1.69, and that's going to be pi, and then r squared. Okay, so in other words, what we're saying is, is that the new circle, the new circle is 169% bigger. Okay, in other words, I've multiplied it by 1.69, which is the decimal equivalent to 169%. Okay, and therefore the increase in the circles area must be 69 percent. OK, so it does take a little bit of time to kind of get your head around these sorts of questions. But again, once you've seen them, hopefully you'll be OK with them. Um, it's a very much a similar one with uh, the bacteria strain. So bacteria strain is increasing its population by 50 percent each hour. Calculate the percentage increase after four hours. So if it's increasing by 15%, then that's going to be equal to 1.15 as a decimal, okay? So after four hours, it's going to be 1.15 times 1.15, because it's 15% bigger of this increase, multiplied by, again, 1.15 times 1.15. So it's going to happen four times. So actually, what we've got at the end of that is going to be 1.749. OK, so in other words, it is the decimal equivalent is 1.749, but the percentage is 174.9%, if I multiply that through by 100, if you prefer. OK, so in other words, what we're saying is the percentage increase after four hours from a hundred percent is an increase of 74.9 percent and that's the answer to this particular question. Okay, so it's been a fairly difficult series of questions. I hope you found them useful. You are aiming at kind of higher levels with these, so it is well worthwhile practicing these questions. Please do follow the link below to 3 Minute Maths, the website, and you'll be able to download the questions. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.